So you've discovered that Christmas is pagan. And it's actually called Yule. And now you're wondering, how do I celebrate Yule? Well, in this video, you'll find out. <laughs> First, let me tell you a little bit about Yule and what it is, and then I'll go into some ways you can practice this year. Yule is the celebration of the winter solstice. This represents the longest night of the year in celebrating the return of the sun. The lighting of candles, the lights on the tree, the twinkling lights you see all over the place, that actually celebrates the returning of the light or the sun. After the winter solstice, the days start to get longer, hence celebration of the light. This was traditionally celebrated by the Germanic peoples and can also be called midwinter. Okay, now that we have a basic background, let's get into some ways to celebrate Yule. One, you could build a Yule altar. Now, what does that consist of? I'd recommend lighting a candle on this altar, something to represent the returning of the sun, like a yellow, gold, or silver-hued candle that will represent the sun. You can fill your altar with signs of winter, like pine cones and fallen leaves. You could even add a Yule log, which I'll get into here in a second. And be sure to cleanse your altar space with sweet grass or sage. Now let's get into the second way you could celebrate, and that's with a Yule log. This is a tradition that even the Vikings did. <laughs> now, the Yule log is actually a pretty cool one. You can decorate the Yule log to kind of be festive centerpiece for your house. And you'd take a piece of paper and you would write your biggest wishes for this upcoming year. Some things you would like to manifest. Symbolically, you would put them in the log, and on the 12th night, you would burn the Yule log. This is kind of like an offering with your good wishes to help make those things come true in the upcoming year. Another great way to celebrate Yule is to start planting some seeds. A way of giving back to nature and thanking it for what it has done for us in the past year. It's simple, but it's huge. Planting flowers or trees at this time is actually the best way to go. Another great way is meditation. It's a great time to start visualizing what you want to create in this next coming year. And truly, it's a great time to focus your intentions. There are many amazing ways to celebrate the upcoming Yule, but those are just a few ways to start integrating it into your life. Let's recap. We got an altar, the Yule log, giving back to nature, and meditation. Now there again, there are many, many other ways to celebrate, but this is just a quick video to get you introduced. If you want to learn more, don't forget to like and comment. And if you want to help this video get out to more people, share and hit that favorite button. It's a free way to support. Much love and blessed be family. You are worthy, you are enough, and you are loved. Have a great day.